of the Miami Dolphins. And when you've got Jalen Waddle on one side and Tyreek Hill on the other, number 14 knows he's going to get his ship opportunities and he catches in today. Dolphins win big 39-17. Kim Bocamper had a chance to talk to Sheriff Phil afterwards. I'm here with Ted Sherfield and uh, Ted, uh, these are the kind of games that are fun to play. Your defense is playing well Yay! offensively. You put points on the board and in eight of nine drives and boy, it's just, uh, it's just one of the games you've been waiting for, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think um, after the game, I, I think we, we sat, at, sat here and had this conversation yep. um, about playing complimentary football. I think I was at the Pittsburgh, yep. um, you know, after that Sunday night game and, you know, we're, we're starting to get to that point, you know, where we're playing complimentary football, you know, special teams, um, defense and offense, and now we're playing off of each other. And I think um, this this, this win for us is huge, man. Going into the bye week, um, you know, now you know we get we can get guys relaxed and um, come back and you know come come back even stronger than ever. So what about the production that's coming out of that wide receiver room? I mean, the numbers and the catches and yeah. breaking tackles and doing all the things that help you win games. Yeah. A lot of production coming out of that room, man. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think it, I think it first and foremost starts with Wes. You know, Wes Wilber, man. He's he's always on us and um, he's he's always holding us accountable to to, to be to, to be to be to be greater than what we were the day before. And you know, we have a saying in our room. Um, it's, it's written big on our crossroad wall. It says, "You've never arrived." Yeah. And I think that that's that's the the, the the key thing for us as a as a as a group. And you know, you have Tyreek Hill, yeah. guy who guy who's making you know all this money, yeah. and one of the guys who's well on his way to the Hall of Fame, and who comes out every single day. And I'm talking about works his butt off, and. It, it just makes it hard for the guys behind him not to reciprocate his energy and do what he does on a day in day out basis, man. So starting with West, you know, from with his leadership and his coaching, and then going with Tyreek to his yeah. um, to his leadership to, to everybody else. So yeah. And talk about two a little bit, spreading yeah. the ball around, getting it to people, and I yeah. tell you what, he's man, he's throwing some dimes out there. I mean, yeah. his, his accuracy, I think he was at 78 yeah. percent towards the end of the game, maybe got to 80, but yeah, but yeah. like, he's just Caesar's and you know playing playing as well as anybody. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think the, I think the biggest thing. Um, with Tua, man, is I kind of got to notice it a little bit this offseason. I worked with him every single week uh, during the offseason. We threw every single day, you know, uh, me, uh, Waddle, and uh, Cedric, and uh, Tyree. We threw with him almost every single week uh, during the offseason. And the thing that you notice about him is that he's always calm. Yeah. He's always cool, calm, and collective. He just has this aura about him that he's a, so he's a winner, you yeah. know. And um, I think the biggest thing, he's, he stays right in the middle. He doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low. He's always a guy that's just going to stay right in the middle no matter how bad things are going or no matter how good things are going and that's what you want in a quarterback you know when you're in that huddle you feel his presence you feel this you feel this calm demeanor you feel you know that you know that he has us you know and he's going to take us down and he's going to go score he's going to make plays so you, you talked about Wes Welker you see a lot of blocking coming out of you guys absolutely. And, and the wide receivers absolutely and you see a break and play running but on the running back giving them extra yards absolutely. You're, other, you're receiving brothers give yep. them extra yards absolutely how important is blocking among your group absolutely we what I what I live by, what we live by is if you don't block, you will get the rock, yeah. and that's that's what it, that's what it has to be. Because we got two guys back there, um, you know, and, and Jeff Wilson yeah. and Raheem Mostert who can take it the distance. And so, um, for us, we understand that the run sets up the pass, and so for us to be able to run the ball and you know get these defenses, yeah. you know, to play us in man coverage, get more, get the, get a, get a heavier box, yeah. and be able to you know uh, you know like I said, get get those defenses in different coverages and be able to get them in man coverage because we know um, we we like our matchups against anybody and so when we're able to block and you know lean on guys and you know pound on guys you know down in and down and out it just makes it that much easier to get more space in the passing game you got the bye week then you got another home game you yep. will have been home for almost a month yeah how, how how important is that to get you guys healed up yeah. and ready to go for the stretch run i think it's very important um i think that you know this we, we've been grinding it out yep. man and um we, we've been we've been we, we have a, we have a tough process that we follow you know day in day out we, we get guys in early we watch film and yep. um, um, you know, it's, it's a tough process, but, you know, guys are bought in. And um, I think that, you know, this week is, is coming right at the perfect time yeah. for us. You know, we're kind of hitting our stride. And I think that, you know, um, you know, as a team, we got to be responsible this week. You know, do do the right things. Um, you know, make sure we're taking care of our bodies. You know, moving around and everything like that. So then that way, when we come back from the Texas, we're just hitting the ground right back where we left off. So yeah. Touch your bracelet, all right, people, all right, people. Yeah. Pops, yeah. Pops is looking down, smiling right now. No, absolutely, good yeah, for you, man. Appreciate it, man. Keep it going, man. Absolutely. Thanks, right, Trent Sherfield. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, no back problem. to you too. All right, Trent Sherfield dropping some gems. If you don't block, you don't get the rock. I love that saying. We're gonna take another break here in the fifth quarter when we come back. Final thoughts from Jackson Jemmy on what lies ahead for the Dolphins after this.